Alright, hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys what I know about HTTP service and just to get a basic understanding of how to use it. So let's get started. Once you're in Roblox Studio, uh, you're going to want to enable HTTP service. And by doing that, you need to publish your game so you can access the game settings. So once you access your game settings, you want to go to, you know, uh, game settings and well, I, yeah, it's in security. You're going to want to go to security and then on top, you can see allow HTTP service or HTTP request. You want to enable that and then click save. All right. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to go to a different website called Pastebin. And in Pastebin, it's usually just to share code. I think, I believe it's, that's what it's for. But for this reason, we're just going to extract data that we put in, in a, a new paste, which is just a new post. I, and I think I need an account for this. I'm not really sure. I just used for my noodles as a dummy account and and the where you can like type. I'm just going to put watermelon, pears and steak as my paste, I guess you can say. And for the title, I'm just going to put a uh, fruit basket. All right. So in Roblox Studio, I just made a just a simple billboard where I just have the text label as fruits and just to uh, display the data we receive so you're gonna want to make a new script i just made a new script in the the part that i just made basically i just made two variables which is http service you know game get service http service and then i just made label which is script.parent which is my part and i just assigned it to the text label so you're gonna go back to the paste you just made and in raw it will give you a different URL or a different link to basically your text you just did and right here you want to copy the URL and you want to go back to Roblox Studio and there I will just make a variable called URL and just paste the URL and you're gonna want to make a new variable uh, to grab the data so I'm just gonna call it local get data and you want to equal this to HTTP service get async get async is basically like getting the data from the url so once you have that variable set up and once you get the data i mean uh once you implement the variable you can see if we print the variable you can see that it it's going to display the text we just wrote in paste a new paste there you go watermelon pears and steak so obviously now you can see that i'm just going to take i'm just put the text for the text label as get data and um, I actually just change this to data and right here once I run it you can see now it's in the billboard all right now we're gonna have a different example I'm just gonna duplicate this part and this one I'm gonna teach you guys about JSON decode and um, and JSON is basically a different different program language so once you're a new paste you're gonna see down in the settings where it says syntax highlighting, I have his default as Lua, but you're gonna want to put JSON, and just so you can, just so you can like see because on the top right corner you can see syntax highlighting, and um, you could just gonna make a, it's like a table in Lua, but this is in uh, JSON format for it's like for the first one I'm just gonna put name, and just think of a uh, I guess John. So for the next one, I'll just put food and for the last one, I'll just put the age. So you just made a JSON, a JSON object or table, I guess, and I'm just going to create this new paste. So just like the last one, you want to click on raw and get that URL and then just implement it back into Roblox. All right. So since we just changed the URL, if you try to print data, it'll just display the string we just made or the json object we just made into the output but we want to we want to turn it into a lua table and to do this you're going to want to decode the json object we just made so to do this i'm just going to make a variable which is called json table and here we're just going to put equal to http service decode json or json decode and then the and then data our variable so now since we decoded it now if we print it it'll just turn to a regular lua table 
Now, like always, like in a little table, you can just put JSON table dot name, and it just gives you the uh, value John, since that's the name we put it on. So here, I'm just gonna put the text label as JSON table dot age, which would give me 26, since that's the since that's the value I put. You can get data from different APIs, and an API is just to give data to the public, and usually JSON, that's why I showed you about JSON. And so right here, NAS has APIs, so if you go down right here, I guess, right there it is, and it just gives you the date, explanation, you know, it's basically a JSON table that we just made. You know, it gives you different values and different indexes. But we're gonna use a different API. And in this one, we're gonna use Chuck Norris API. And in this API, it just gives an, a value of different Chuck Norris jokes. And you can find different APIs just by searching something like dog API or cat API. But we're just gonna use this for an example. But if you change the link to jokes slash random, then it just gives you the actual API, the actual JSON object. So you're just going to want to copy the URL, you know, paste it into Roblox like we did before. I'm just going to rename this as random jokes. So if you just print random jokes, it will just print a random Chuck Norris joke. So like we did the others, we're just going to put the, the label dot text as uh, random jokes dot value, which just, you know, just is a random joke. And there you have it. That's the basics of HTTP service, I guess you can say. Uh, I don't know that much, and I do know some other videos that shows how to implement it in a better way, you know, in a realistic kind of way, I guess you can say. That will leave in the description. But if you guys haven't noticed, this is one of my first videos in this channel, so I don't really know what I'm doing in this channel, but I um, have this idea of just making devlogs or just to document my journey and on Roblox. I'm not an expert in Lua, so don't get your hopes up in seeing amazing games, but I hope you guys stick around. I should have said this early in the video, but uh, whatever. I had an error where it says HTTP requests, where it said too many, and that's because uh, it has a limit. In the Roblox wiki or the hub, it says 500 requests per minute, so I put the get async in a while true loop, and that made it run hundreds of times. So you want to make sure that it's not running more than 500 times a minute.